Hey guys, Dr. Christy Ennis. Welcome to Follow Me Friday, where motion is lotion today for our bowls full of jelly and our cinnamon buttons. All right, we've got five exercises that are on the mat, or you can even do these in the bed. No equipment unless you want to wait, and I'm gonna use a present for the first one because it's called Santa Sack Sit-Ups. <laughs> All right, so sitting with those feet out in front, engaging in through those abs, holding your weight or your present right in front of you. You're going to lean back as far as you can to engage those abs, but not to strain the back. And then as you sit up, you're placing that present right in the sleigh. So a little arm workout here too at the same time. We're getting 10 of these. And if you guys want more videos that I don't show anywhere else and live videos and Q&A, check out my membership at drchristiennis.com. That's five, we've got five more. And this lovely gift is from my cinematographer, Victoria. No idea what's in it. If you guys have any guesses, let me know in the comments below. We've got two more like this and then we're lying all the way down. So if you can go back down further than me, go for it. If you need to not go down as far, that's okay too. We're gonna get rid of this hopefully non-fragile, <laughs> breakable present. That wasn't very good. And go right onto the back. I'm actually gonna get rid of my headband too because it's gonna fall off. And yes, I have shorts on. So feet about hip width apart. Arms are gonna start down by your side. Tuck that tailbone underneath if it feels okay. You're gonna lift those buns, those cinnamon buns, all the way up as high as you can with art, without arching through the rib cage or in through the lower spine. This is your starting position. From here, we're gonna bring our knees apart and our arms open into a <clears throat> snow angel bridge. So as I'm bringing my knees apart, you really wanna make sure that you're not dropping your hips or tilting them in any way, shape, or form. So that might mean you need to come down a little bit lower, and that's totally okay. So we're getting 10 of these too, that was four. Here's five, try to keep those shoulder blades grounded too. So we're really stretching out through those arms, working those posture muscles. That's seven, you got three more to go. One, cleaning my floor, <laughs> two, which is sad because I just cleaned it, and three, good. Bringing those buns back down, you're gonna carefully get onto those hands and knees. Shoulders stacked over those wrists, Pelvis is nice and level. We're gonna take one leg and we're gonna kick it back with a bent knee. So it is a reindeer kick. Please, hopefully you don't ever get kicked by a reindeer because I imagine that would be really painful. They're pretty big. <laughs> we're gonna do 10 on each side here. So that's four, five. Again, making sure you're not tilting or arching. Six, seven, eight, nine and 10 and switching to the other side, really making sure those glutes are getting a little extra squeeze right up at the top. Three, notice I'm not kicking my legs super duper far, otherwise I would start using my back. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, you're going to stay in this position or if you really want to challenge, you're gonna do a plank, which I will show you after a couple reps. But from here, we're gonna take the left arm and the right leg and instead of like a bird dog out straight, we're gonna go out to the side. So we're making kind of a snowflake. So for one, that's two. We're gonna get 10 on each side. Here's three. Now again, if you wanna make this harder, you go right up into that plank and come out <laughs> as I fall over. There we go, that was better. That's five, six, I'm coming back down, seven, eight, nine. One more on this side, and then switching to the other side. Here we go, bring it out and back in for one, two. This one is a little harder to keep that pelvis nice and steady, right? Four, so it's okay if you don't move a whole lot. Five, six, Seven, in other words, my leg isn't lifting super high, right? Eight, nine, and 10. All right, we've got one more on the ground, or like I said, on your bed. This one is a side plank, but I will show some modifications. So getting your body stacked up nicely. Arms actually gonna go above your head as you lift up. So it looks like this. And then as you come back down, arm comes straight back down to your side. So it's just like a nutcracker cracking a nut. So that's two. We're gonna do 10 on each side. 
Three, if you wanna make it more challenging, straighten out those legs and come back down. Just making sure that you're really pushing through the abs and the legs more so than the arms. Ooh, that was my knee. Five. If that's too hard, get rid of the plank and add a little clamshell so that it looks like this. Six. Seven, I'm going back to that side plank. Eight, you could always add a clamshell in here too. Nine, it's like patting your head and rubbing your belly. <laughs> and 10, and of course, the other side. Okay, see my damn, make sure you're in a nice straight line. I'm just gonna show the bent knee side plank here. So arm comes up and come back down. You can always put a weight in this hand if you wanna make it a little bit more challenging. That's three, four, five, Six, seven, three more to go, and then we're standing. Eight, nine, and 10. I'm gonna step back with my left leg, and my left arm is gonna come back as I drop into a lunge. As I step it forward, I'm gonna rotate that arm forward like I'm throwing a snowball. And yes, I know, nobody really probably throws a snowball just like this, although to tell you the truth, I'm a terrible thrower. <laughs> but for the sake of this exercise, we are, right? Really using those abs to pull you forward. We're getting 10 on each side. If it's too much for your body to go into a lunge, just go into a little step back, right? So that we can still use those abs and still engage those glutes a little bit. But for now, I'm going into that lunge. So that's five, six. I'm reaching across the body as I do this. Seven, really using those obliques to squeeze as I go in. Eight, nine, one more on this side and then switch into the other side. So right leg back, right arm up into that lunge. Step and squeeze for one, two, woo three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, and 10, I'm gonna face you guys. Feet are gonna to come together. We're gonna to pretend we're skiing, okay? So hands stay together, we're holding that weight into that little bit of a squat and swish it to the side for one, two, we'll get 20 total here. Three, four, do you guys have a favorite place to ski? Let me know in the comments. That's six, seven, Eight, my favorite place to ski is water skiing. <laughs> Nine, because it's warm. <laughs> 10, go figure that I live in New Hampshire. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That means we have five more. Five, you can even add a little hoppy, woo, if you really want to be adventurous, right? Three, you don't have to. Two, and one. Okay, I'm facing the other way again. We're gonna go into a deadlift. So our back stays flat, hips come back, arms are down, and then we're gonna pretend we're shoveling that snow. Again, maybe not the best form, but this is <laughs> good for our abs right here, right? We probably don't shovel snow like this, but we are engaging our abs, we are engaging our glutes right here. If you had a heavy snow shovel, probably not over the shoulder, right? Unless your child is behind you. <laughs> Six, seven, of course, we'll get both sides. Eight, and my child is so quick, he would know it was coming and he would totally get out of the way. And 10, good, okay. Same idea, other side. He's also 6'3", so whoops, he's a heck of a lot taller than me. Going to the wrong side, oh no. I'm getting lots of snow on one side today. There's three, four, Five, I'm shifting my weight back onto my heels. Six, seven, eight, nine, and last one is 10. Good, facing you guys again. We have two more to go. You're gonna cross one leg behind and it's like we're ice skating on the pond. So you're gonna add that little arm with it. There's two, three, you can add a hop if you want to. You don't have to though, right? Five, six, seven, trying to keep my hips pointed forward. Eight, crossing down behind as much as I can. Nine, 10, 10 more to go. 
10. And for the last one, you do need a book or a step or a curb or your Uncle Bob, <laughs> something you feel comfortable stepping on. <laughs> it doesn't have to be Uncle Bob. Your least favorite uncle. No, just kidding. We've got one more on each side. Sorry, Uncle Bob. <laughs> Good, and then we're gonna grab a little book or step. So we started with Santa's sleigh and we're ending with it. Now we're stepping right up to that sleigh. So you're gonna step up, really squeeze those quads, lift that knee if you've got the balance as those arms come forward. If you don't have the balance, you're gonna come up and just kind of tap that toe to let it rest right on that step and something to work towards, right? So that's three. We're getting 10 on each side and then you can go have some more egg knock. Four. Five, and let me tell you, Puerto Rican eggnog is amazing. My friend made that. Seven, look it up because I had no idea how to make it or really what was in it, but just that it tasted really good. Nine, one more on this side and switching sides. Here we go. So stepping up with that other leg, lifting that knee, coming forward for one. And you may find that one side is easier than another as far as balance goes, totally okay. Listen to your body. Four, that's the advice I give to Santa right now. Listen to your body. If the presents are getting too heavy, ask for some help. Six, like Mrs. Claus. Seven, we know Mrs. Claus does a lot of the work anyways, right? <laughs> Eight, nine, one more to go and you are done and 10. Nice job.